Hey everybody, welcome back. I got a lot of things to go over, so let's get to it. So first off, just a quick update on a Giallo in Venice. That sold out pretty fast. So Scorpion Releasing is actually printing up another 500 copies that'll go both to Ronin Flix and to Diabolic. So if you missed out on it the first time, uh, you will get a second chance, but they are saying that they are not going to print any more beyond this 500. So as soon as that goes up for sale and you're interested that by all means uh, jump on it. I believe it is also going to have just like the previous release of uh, the slip cover and the mini poster reprint of the new artwork. An update on the Revenge of the Creature 3D Blu-ray sort of uh, debacle as it was. Uh, so Universal has finally released a an official announcement. So I got this from the Blu-ray.com boards from someone who I believe works at the 3D Archive who was heavily involved. 3D Archive is the one who actually did the actual restoration. Um, but they're not the ones who did the screw up. That actually happened in the encoding of the Blu-ray done at Universal. He released this. I'm not I'm gonna hide his name in this just because I don't know whether or not he wants this actually posted publicly or not. However, this does come from Universal. So Universal states Universal Pictures Home Entertainment has identified a manufacturing issue which may affect the presentation of the 3D Blu-ray offering of the film Revenge of the Creature, released on August 28, 2018, as part of the Universal Classic Monsters Complete 30 Film Collection and the Creature from the Black Lagoon Complete Legacy Collection. The issue is isolated to this particular film and does not affect any other discs in the collection. Universal's goal is to always deliver the best possible product to its consumers to that end a replacement program is being established to ensure that those who have purchased either collection have the opportunity to receive a corrected blu-ray disc featuring the 3d version of revenge of the creature and 2d version of the creature walks among us should they encounter the issue to receive an updated disc please email ushe consumer relations at vision media management mjmt.com now i'm going to leave this up on the screen uh just a little longer you can uh jot down the email address now what i don't know is what you actually have to send them i don't know whether or not you basically just send in your name and address and they just send you one i doesn't that's what i don't know so just sort of an update on that so for john carpenter fans like myself do have some very exciting news coming from studio canal uk they are announcing that they're doing brand new 4k restorations on the fog they live prince of darkness and escape from new york so coming from home cinemachoice.com studio canal will be bringing brand new 4k restorations of four john carpenter classics to dvd blu-ray and ultra hd blu-ray in the uk this autumn Restored from the original camera negatives with color grading approved by cinematographers Gary B. Kibbe and Dean Cundy, the new disc releases kick off with The Fog and They Live on October 29th with Escape from New York and Prince of Darkness following on, a, on November 26th, although a seal book of the latter will be available from October 29th. Artist Matt Ferguson has created brand new artwork for each film pictured above. While full disc details has yet to be revealed, Studio Canal claims that each release will feature a selection of brand new and best of bonus goodies from previous releases. It also appears that the label will be releasing The Fog, Escape from New York, and They Live in four disc collector's editions that also include a copy of the CD soundtrack. As well as the home entertainment releases, the four restorations will also be taking... So the big screen, albeit for very limited releases, the restoration of The Fog will have its premiere at the London Film Festival on October 15th before getting special Halloween screenings at selected cinemas on October 31st. They Live and Prince of Darkness will hit the big screen on October 26th, while The Restored Escape from New York makes its big screen bow on November 22nd. Now, the theatrical things, I believe that's UK only, at least as of right now. Now, I have no further information beyond this, so I don't know whether or not the Blu-ray is going to be region-free or whether or not it will be region-B locked. If I had to guess, I would say they would be region-B locked, just because these four films are available currently through Scream Factory, and usually those are very much region locked as well. And of course, some of these, you know, the rights are kind of varied. So for example, the rights in the US are, I think, let's see, MGM, 
I believe still has The Fog and Escape from New York, while Universal has They Live and Prince of Darkness. I don't know whether or not these will be coming out in the U.S. anytime soon. But the good news for those of you who have 4K players is obviously 4K releases are region free no matter what. And for those of you who are still trying to make the jump to 4K, if you buy a 4K player, even if you don't have a 4K TV, 4K players do down convert 4K releases. So just a heads up on that. If you do want to sort of start making the investment sort of incrementally. Shout Factory has announced that it's releasing Murder by Death on December 18th. Now, Murder by Death, I love that film. It's sort of a send up on um, old detective novels where a bunch of these uh, quote-unquote world-famous detectives are invited to this sort of creepy mansion for a weekend of, uh, you know, mystery and murder kind of thing. They're sort of put the, to the test as to whether or not they are actually as good as they themselves claim to be. It's, it's, uh, it's really funny. I'm so happy it's finally getting a blu-ray release now no details on whether or not there'll be anything added to it i mean I, I, jesus i think most of the cast is basically passed on at this point so i don't know about as far as extras go it may literally just be the movie and like the trailer or anything but I'm not sure if there's maybe some vintage uh stuff that could be added but it's one i'm very excited about and for those of you who are excited about um that does come out on december 18th so now we're going to go to Scream Factory, again. there's a couple announcements there. First up, I this literally happened like right after I posted my last video. So for those of you who may not have seen this, Texas Chainsaw Massacre of the Next Generation has been just delayed slightly uh, until uh, November 13th. And as it says on their Facebook page, as you know, this one has been a challenge for us so far. Please know we are trying our best to make it as solid of a release as we can. Thank you for your patience. And Scream Factory does have an update on their Night of the Demons Steelbook release. So they say, good news. Our new upcoming Steelbook release of Night of the Demons will not only feature a new 4K scan of the film, but also a brand new audio commentary featuring director Kevin Tenney, casting director Tedro Gabriel, and actors Philip Tanzini and Linnea Quigley. And then it says also note that the limited edition that comes with the Angela figure is close to selling out. They have about 300 left. So now obviously the seal book itself is going to be available um, pretty much anywhere, but that's only if you want the, uh, the Angela figure. Speaking of releases with figures, Scream Factory has announced that they are finally doing Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2 in a new collector's edition. And one option is to get, yes, a Ricky figure from NECA, which is really awesome. So if you got the Silent Night, Deadly Night 1 release from last year with the uh, Billy figure, then you can uh, have the two of them go side by side uh, on your shelf, which uh, obviously I do. Going by their Facebook page, the holiday slasher sequel, which brought us the infamous garbage day scene, is heading down the chimney and dropping for a release before the holidays. Here's all the exciting info we have currently to share with you. Official street day for the Blu-ray release is December 11th for U.S. and Canada territories. It will be branded as a collector's edition that will come with a slip cover guaranteed for three months after initial release. Uh, the newly commissioned artwork pictured comes to us from artist Joel Robinson, uh, which is good because he did, as it says here, he did the uh, cover last year, uh, which is cool. And I love Joel Robinson. As I mentioned, my flashback weekend video i uh, saw him there at the convention he's such a great guy this art will be front facing and the reverse side of the wrap will showcase the iconic original theatrical poster art design an all new hc film transfer from best surviving elements and extras are in progress and will be announced in early november so obviously if you order it from them you'll get the poster uh as long as those are in stock and you get it one week earlier than the street date not the usual two weeks earlier. And obviously the big thing is the deluxe edition, which comes with the uh, the, the figure. <laughs> uh, so deluxe offer, limited to 2,000 orders only. Uh, receive the collector's edition Blu-ray. The poster ships one week early, but obviously the main thing is re receive an exclusive limited edition 8-inch tall Ricky Killer Santa doll created by NECA and officially licensed. This will only be available here exclusively on our site and will not be sold elsewhere or at a later date. Um, there is a little bit of, I don't say controversy because that's not quite the right word um there is an issue some people have been complaining that the uh, billy doll last year which is now 
coming out through NECA on its own is getting a re-release when we were told last year that it was only strictly limited to Scream Factory and it was never going to get released otherwise. What it sound, what it basically came down to was uh, the wording on the release from last year was that NECA could not release the figure in, I think, a similar packaging or something. So they actually technically, legally could release the figure uh, at a later point, which obviously they are. It's, it's coming out of the... Uh, of the Billy figure now, but this one they do have locked in that this is actually completely limited, and NECA, you know, will not be releasing this figure on their own at any time. Whether or not that happens or not, I don't know. I mean, the thing is, it doesn't matter to me because you know, I mean, the figures are like thirty bucks anyway, so it's not like you're getting it cheaper or anything. And like, honestly, I don't mind even if they said like you can get the doll now. Or if you wait until next year, you know, you can get just the doll on its own. I mean, the thing is, I don't have a problem with that. I mean, I would still get this release either way. But but I do, I can understand why some people would be upset. But, I mean, some people are flipping out. I made the mistake of reading some of the comments. And I'm like, eee. ooh, some people are angry. And finally, uh, from Scream Factory, a new title announcement. The Toby Hooper film, The Mangler based on the short story by Simon King and starring Robert England, is getting a Blu-ray release from them coming December 11th. Uh, it's still early in the uh, in the process. They haven't announced any extras yet. Um, and honestly, I oh man, I hope Toby Hooper did some extras on like maybe a DVD release back in the day. Maybe some of you know that could be included. I hate to think that there wouldn't be anything from Toby Hooper on this on uh, their Facebook page. Extras are in progress and will be announced on a later date, but we can confirm today that we have a new interview with Robert England. We are also aware of the unrated cut of the film and are trying our best to secure a version for it of it for our release. So here's hoping they can do they can find everything they need to do a proper uncut version. So that's everything for this video. I'm sure there'll be stuff that'll be posted two seconds after I upload this video. It seems to happen a lot. But as always, I'll try and keep you in the know as possible. So thank you for watching. As always, like because it does help with the algorithm. Uh, subscribe if this is your first time here and you're interested in much more content from me. Comment below what you're excited about and what you're looking forward to. Uh, I've been really, like I said before, I really, really love all the back and forth we are uh, been having through the comments. You know, it's, it's nice being able to log in and actually see notifications and see all the comments and everything. So thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.